Hello and welcome to another episode of Optics Trade Debates. Uh, today we'll discuss some differences bet between dot sizes, which dot sizes are there and uh, for which particular uh, purpose are they suitable. Mm -hmm. So the first question would be, uh, what? as we can see we have some red dot sizes here, red dots here. Uh, which red dot sizes are there available in general? In general, I would say most of the red dots start with a one MOA. This is not most. Only a few of uh, red dot producers are able to produce a red dot which has a size of one MOA. That means that the dot covers three centimeters, approximately three centimeters on 100 meters. This is a really, really fine dot. It's uh, suitable for precision shooting even on longer ranges, which is, which is not the basic <coughs> purpose of a red dot. Then majority, majority of dots start with two MOA size, then four, six, seven, and all the way up to 10. Uh, it depends on the form factor, what type of red dot is, it depends what kind of purpose uh, you're using the red dot for and so on. So I would say the most simple question would be, dot sizes are from one MOA to 10 MOA. So from three centimeters on 100 meters to 30 centimeters on 100 meters. Okay, so for which, uh, you already mentioned some dot sizes, for which particular reason would you say, for example, is the dot size 1, uh, 3, 6, etc. and so on? Well, I would say the smaller the dot, the finer the dot, easier it will be also to do a precise shot on a, on a little bit longer distance. Uh, the bigger the dot, the easier it's going to, do, to be to do a rapid target acquisition and shoot in, in hectic or tactical situations. Uh, it's also the main divider is that if you're using a red dot on a, on a rifle you can have it's usually good to have a red dot from one moa all the way to four above four are usually the dots are too big mm -hmm. when you're using a red dot on a handgun those which are suitable for handguns then it's from four all the way up to ten and the third application which is coming more and more common is to use a red dot on on a shotgun like this two uh, Noblex, uh, uh, Noblex uh, quick, side. quick side and um, Micro S1 from Aimpoint. Uh, these two dots are meant for uh, for shotguns, and they have a dot size of uh, Noblex. I think has five MOA, and uh, Aimpoint has six MOA. So three purposes: rifle, either tactical or hunting, one to four. Then handgun, like this or this. It's usually four to ten. And shotgun, five and six, uh -huh. usually around six. Uh, does the form uh, or the build of the red dot influences the size of the dot or, or not? Well, most of these red dots have different dot sizes in the same housing. You can order, let's say like this Noblex, you can order it either with a, a four MOA or 3.5 in this case, yes. really close to four, four, uh, four MOA or uh, seven MOA. So 3.5 or 7 MOA dot you get in the same housing, but you have to order. And that means basically I wish to have it for a rifle, 4 MOA, which is on the top uh, maximum of the, of the dot size, which is still suitable for rifle. Or if you're ordering with 7 MOA, that means for handgun. Uh, aim point on the other hand has all the red dot sides for, for rifles. And yes. you can choose either 2 MOA or 4 MOA except for the shotgun which is six mm -hmm. but let's say for for center fire rifles two and four it's a choice between uh using it really on close range in, in really rapid uh, shooting and so on then you go with a four because four moa covers approximately um 12 centimeters on 100 meters mm -hmm. this is roughly six centimeters on 50 meters and it, it's it's better to have a little bit bigger dot on closer ranges where you have to to really aim quickly. Two MOA, it's more like if you say, okay, from time to time I will shoot at 80 <coughs> meters, 90 meters, maybe even 100 meters, then it's easier to do a more precise shot with a two MOA, which covers six centimeters on 100 meters. With a uh, hollow sun produces practically everything from one MOA all the way up to, to four MOA. Uh, and in this full size red dots, it's much easier to produce a small, smaller coverage, a smaller dot. Uh, with with these reflex sights, 
anything below four it's quite an achievement most of these red dots start at four and go up uh, when you are choosing which size of the dot you would like to order uh, rarely only the best producers are able to to make such a red dot the reflex one with a two moa dot uh -huh. even more scars are those which are able to produce this type of dot with one moa while this full size red dots like these two they are able to be produced in with a, even one MOA dot size. Then big reflex sites like this Metrolite, uh, this one is 1.8 MOA. I think in, in this form factor, it's a, a little bit easier to produce also one MOA. And normally the Shield, Shield is able to produce almost anything in their, their red dots. So they are producing even the, the reflex sites with really, really small yes, fine dots. One of the smallest on the market. Uh, so basically, uh, from 1 to 4 MOA for rifles and from yeah. 4 uh, and so on uh, suitable for handguns if of course the red dot is not in point hunter for yeah. pistols. And basically the bigger <coughs> the housing the easier it would be to produce a smaller finer red dot. Mm -hmm. This is uh, it's I would say this it's not uh, um, an educated um, guidance or how to say uh, guideline but in practice, is it like this? If you're mm -hmm. having a big dot, housing-wise, you are uh, the producers are able to do a finer dot size. If you're having a <coughs> reflex site, which is really really small, then usually the dot size is a little bit bigger. Okay, thank you very much. I think we covered most of the questions. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, we mentioned some very uh, very good information. To be honest, I think if you forgot anything, just use comments below or send us an email. This Take care. Thank you. Bye.